Ah, ah, ah. Don't turn that dial. This is the right station if you want to hear about Jonathan Thomas and his Christmas on the Moon. In the heart of the forest, deep with gloom, where the wind harps toll the knell of doom, ride Jonathan Thomas and Gorgonzola and the kind old man in the moon. And they ride in quest of a kindly deed as a knight of old on his fiery steed. And because of their goodness, they invoke fairy laws, for they ride to the rescue of old Santa Claus. For that good old man of Christmas Day was wickedly kidnapped and carried away And if they don't find him, oh my, oh dear, there won't be any Christmas at all this year. So you see, that's the reason that Jonathan Thomas has traveled so far to keep his promise and brave the terrors and frights because he was sworn to bring back Santa Claus. And so there they are in the forest so deep where the wind does wail till their flesh does creep, where the dragons and monsters shriek and roar to gobble them up My goodness, what's more, where witches and goblins appear on their path and call down their curses and sneer and laugh. But never you mind, they're not afraid, for you couldn't have paid them enough to have stayed because they are bound and determined to get what they're after. So Christmas this year will be just full of laughter. Now, of course, you remember the fairy queen, the most beautiful fairy that was ever seen, of how she gave them some charms they could take, a magical acorn to keep them awake, For the forest, you know, puts all travelers to sleep. But not so our heroes, for they've an acorn to keep. But charms aren't enough to ward every hitch. And the evil spells of the wicked old witch who lives in the kingdom of Rumpelstitch. But my gracious, I've talked enough for ten men. So here's where the story begins again. I am the witch of Rumpelstitch, and I sew my spells with an evil stitch. So speak, O oh magic mirror wise, of my spell that in the forest lies. O oh, mighty witch of Rumpelstitch, this I can tell of your magic spell, that another whose power doth greatly foretell hath created a charm which works very well to weaken your magic and your strength to dispel. You lie, you wicked looking glass, and I'll heap your pieces in the grass, unless the truth to me you keep, and tell me of my magic sleep. Not so, O witch. As you know, forsooth, I always, always tell the truth. And in the forest's gloom so deep, A charm doth work against your sleep. For in the forest do I see not one of them, Uh but one, two, three. Curses on that fairy queen. The last of me they have not seen. For I'll work and toil till my brew doth boil. And then my magic will be most tragic. And to you, O mirror, I make this promise. I'll put an end... To Jonathan Thomas, squim dum do, squim dum dee, just you wait, and you will see, <laughs> just you wait, and you will see. <laughs> oh, we'll rock to the land of scree bubble. We'll walk and we'll run and we'll hobble. We'll never come back till we've taken a whack at the terrible land of Squibbubble. Hey, stop that racket. Stop that infernal noise, I say. Do you hear? Did you hear something, Mr. Man in the Moon? I thought I did. Yeah. Well, I guess I didn't. That's because you are deaf in one ear and you can't hear out of the other. My gracious to goodness. What was that? Yes. Who was that? It wasn't the wind. Who it wasn't? That was me. Me, 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 me. Jiminy Crickets. It certainly is not Jiminy Crickets. Well, then, who are you? None of your business. Coming around here in the middle of the winter, waking a person up out of a sound sleep. Well, 
Whoever you are, you're not very nice. No, you're not. <laughs> you sassy imp, that's what you are. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but names will never hurt me. What's that you say? I don't chew my cabbage twice. My gracious, the Jiminy Crickets. You're, you're going to get me mad in a minute. Ha, only dogs get mad. Oh, look, Mr. Man in the Moon, it's only a little squirrel. I am not so little. I am as big for me as you are for you, so bah. And you dustn't come up in this tree, or I'll show you who's bigger and who. My gracious, never did I see such a grouchy squirrel. Yeah? Yeah. Well? Well... Don't pay any attention to him, Mr. Man in the Moon, because he's nothing but an old, grumpy, smart alley. Oh, he fudge. Well, he makes me so mad. You are mad, and I am glad, and I know what to please you. A strawberry tart to make you smart, and a little boy to tease you. Oh! Come on, Mr. Man in the Moon. Let's just go. Because if we don't, you're liable to get madder and mad. I'm already mad. And Mr. Gorgonzola's liable to get mad. And if he does, maybe he'll drop the magic acorn and then... Did you say acorn? Of course I did. I'll be right down. Oh, my gracious to goodness. Oh, me. Oh, my, 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 my. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Hello. Here I am. My name is... Whiskery Bill. My name's Jonathan Thomas, and this is the man in the moon, and this is Gorgonzola, the horse. Pleased to meet you. Now, uh, <clears throat> where did you say that, uh, acorn was? I didn't say, but it's in Gorgonzola's mouth. Oh. Then, uh, <clears throat> what say we, uh, all sit down and, uh, eat it up? Of course not. Because! That's why. The man in the moon is pinchy. The man in the moon is pinchy. He is not. And anyway, you couldn't eat up this acorn. Huh. I'd like to see any old acorn I couldn't eat. I am the champion acorn eater of Nightmare Forest. So there. But you couldn't eat up this acorn because it's a magic one. And besides, if you did... We'd all go to sleep and not wake up for a million trillion years. Oh. Yeah. Oh. You hush your fuss. Whoever's talking to you? Why, why you, you, you. Shame on you, Whiskery Bill. You shouldn't talk like that to Mr. Man in the Moon. Ah. It isn't night, and you should ought to be spanked. Here, spank, and I'm just the man who can do it, too. Ha, ha, ha. He, he, he. You cut it to even spank the police. That's all I wanted. Let oh, flim, flam, flam. Oh, me... don't get off the horse, Mr. Man in the Moon, or you'll go to sleep. Scaredy cat, scaredy cat, afraid as you can be. If you ran a million years, you never could catch me. All right, I, come on, Jonathan Thomas, let's go. I'm so mad I can see double. Come on, get up, Gorgonzola. Oh! Jonathan Thomas! I'm falling! Oh! Oh, whoa, oh, Gorgonzola! Whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh, Jonathan Thomas, Jonathan Thomas! Hurry up! Get back on the horse! Oh, I am so sleepy. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Wake oh, up, wake oh, up! Oh, oh, my goodness to gracious! He's going to sleep. See what you did, Whiskery Bill? Oh, gee, Mr. Man in the Moon. I didn't mean to. Honest, I didn't. Poor Jonathan Thomas, whatever shall we do? Whatever shall we do? <laughs> oh, magic mirror on the wall, tell me now what doth befall within the forest gloom. Is my magic nicely tragic? Has it brought them to their doom? Oh, mighty witch of Rumpelstitch, much I see that I must tell. For within the forest deep, a little boy lies sound asleep. 
Thus your spell doth work most well. <laughs> uh -huh. You see, because of me, there is an end to one, two, three. And there is no magic in their tears. He'll sleep for a hundred million years. <laughs> Squim dum do, squim dum dee. I promised you that you would see, <laughs> that you would see. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Poor Jonathan Thomas. The wicked old witch was right, for in spite of the fairy queen's charms, he did fall into the arms of sleep, which the old witch has said will keep him for a hundred million years, in spite of their tears. Oh, my. I wonder whatever shall they do now. And what about Santa Claus? Be sure to listen to the next story about Jonathan Thomas and see what happened. <laughs> 